Hey, Robert, do you have a bit of time to talk to me right now? Hey, Kaden, what's going on? Sure, I can spare some time for you. No problem at all. I just wanted to confirm the details for tomorrow's wedding. Just in case we miss something or there is any change. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate your attention to detail. Tonight we say goodbye to our respective parents' homes and we drive over to the venue the first thing in the morning. We meet each other and the priest at the front of the church at 8.30 sharp. That was the plan, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think we have everything covered. Alright then. I guess we are all set. See you tomorrow morning, my love. Yeah, I look forward to it. I can't wait to marry you. Hope I can sleep tonight with all the excitement. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy and nervous at the same time. Good night, sweetheart. Hey, you're that girl who's been hanging around with Barbara lately. Kaden? Was that your name? I'm Elisa. The one and only true love of Robert. Is it true that you're gonna marry my babe, Robert? <laughs> are you serious or are you just playing a cruel joke on me? What the hell is this all about? Who are you and what do you want from me? You know what? You are a sneaky little snake who slithered into Robert's life and poisoned his mind. You stole my guy from me. You have no idea how long I've known Robert. Way more than you. We've been friends since grade school. We grew up together. We shared everything. Did you know that we were made for each other? We were born to be together. It's always been this way. Our love is forever binding. Nobody can come between us. But then you came along. What the hell is this? Why are you guys getting married all of a sudden? This was not the way it was supposed to happen. Robert is mine. Today's wedding is for me and Robert. You are not welcome here. I assure you, Robert is not gonna marry you. I'll make sure of it. You guys are in the midst of this fake wedding. This is not real. I see that you arranged a poolside buffet. That was my idea. I always talked about having a poolside wedding ever since we were kids. That was our dream. Um, hold on a sec. This kind of proves that Robert had me in mind. <laughs> yeah, this is 100% proof that he wanted to marry me. He still loves me. Robert, don't worry, love. I will do all I can to rescue you from the clutches of that witch. I will save you from this nightmare. Just wait and see. I will never give up until he's mine forever. You hear me? Forever! Hey, Kaden. We need to have a serious talk. Yeah, right. What do you want to talk about? Are you okay? I mean, after that horrible incident that happened at the wedding? Yeah, I'm fine. I just sprained my ankle. Seriously? That's all? Yeah, that's all. This stranger came out of nowhere and pushed me into the pool. I lost my balance and twisted my ankle as I fell. Oh my god, are you okay? That must have hurt a lot. Well, it wasn't too bad. It's not broken or anything. I went to the hospital and got it checked out by a doctor. It's a little swollen, but I'll be okay in a few days. Well, that's a relief at least. I'm just glad it was nothing life-threatening. You scared me to death. About the wedding, I'm sorry I left so suddenly and just left everything up to you. How did it go? Did you manage to sort things out? Yeah, well, we couldn't very well continue with the ceremony. How could we without the bride, right? It would have been ridiculous. I decided to cancel the whole thing and ask everyone to leave. I apologized to the guests and thanked them for coming. Yeah, I figured as much. I guess you had no other choice. It was a mess. The main problem was that stranger who pushed you. It happened so suddenly and with all the chaos, this person just disappeared. 
No one could catch her. The cops are still looking for her. Seriously? That's crazy. Who would do such a thing? According to witnesses, the person is definitely a woman. But she was wearing a mask and hoodie so no one got a look at her face. She was very careful to hide her identity. Yeah, she had dark sunglasses on too. I couldn't get a good look at her face. But there is something else that might be a clue. Why is it... You have suspicions about who she might be? I only just checked the line messages on my phone. It was just before I was pushed as I was standing by the poolside. But I got a weird text from this girl named Elisa. Excuse me? Did you say Elisa? Yeah, that's what she said. Apparently, she's some childhood friend of yours. She says she's known you since grade school. Yeah, she was my neighbor at my parents' old house. We moved some years ago. And Elisa stayed there. She was a bit younger than me. Actually, I don't know her that well. As a matter of fact, her brother Jim was more of a friend to me. We hang out a lot since grade school. Jim and I would go out all the time and his little sister. Elisa would always try to tag along. She was kind of annoying. I see, that's how you know her, huh? But you don't know her, do you? No, this is the first I'm hearing about her. I wonder where she got my line ID. How did she even know about me? Yeah, that is kind of creepy. She must have stalked you somehow. I'll send you the text she sent. Look it over and see what you think. I know she's a childhood friend and all, and I hate saying this, but reading her text, she sounds a bit... How do I put it? Erratic? She seems obsessed with you. To be honest, I'm starting to think that maybe it was her who pushed me. Oh my god. Do you think that? That's insane. Why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe she's jealous of me. Or maybe she's in love with you. Alright. Anyway, the fact is, someone threatened you and attacked you. That's not safe. Maybe it would be better if you stay at the hospital for a bit longer. You know, just in case. I feel it may be safer under the circumstances. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe that would be the best option for now, at least until we know more. Until we find out who did this and why. My folks will take care of things over here, so I'm heading over there right now. I'll read the line messages from Elisa on the way there and we can discuss it. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. I also wanted to verify something with the company about Elisa. Pardon me? Your company? What's your company have to do with any of this? Yeah, I had my suspicions and asked my assistant from the office to check out some files. The IT people can also check out her line ID. Just a hunch, but I wanted to make sure. Maybe she's connected to the company somehow. Maybe she's an employee or a client or a competitor. Once I verify it, I'll explain everything. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. Okay, no problem. Hey, Caden. Did you learn your lesson? My little scheme went according to plan. Your little wedding plans went down the drain. I told you I would not let it happen. I had to disappear, but my plan worked. I saved Robert from your death grip. Once you're gone, I can step in and marry my love. All you suffered was a sprained ankle. You should be grateful it wasn't something worse. Hey. Wait a second. Seems like kind of a waste to just cancel that wedding today. I mean, think about it. I always wanted to have a poolside wedding. Robert and I always talked about it. Maybe I should contact Robert and go ahead with the wedding with me, of course. I bet Robert planned this whole wedding from the very start with me in mind. I know it. He always loved me like that. Oh yeah. I already have a wedding dress ready. So no need to borrow yours. How could I even think about wearing the dress of someone who tried to steal the love of my life? Boy, oh boy. Luck has really been on my side recently. I'll be graduating from college this year, so finally finishing up my thesis. My life is moving along nice and smooth. Now all I need to do is top it off by marrying my love. 
Robert. Then, next comes our baby. Hey, Robert. This is your lover, Elisa. How are you doing? I bet you're wondering where I got your line ID. Well, your grandma was nice enough to give it to me when I called her. She always liked me. She said I was like a daughter to her. I was also able to get that snake, Caden's line from her too. She didn't seem to like her very much. She said she was too snooty and stuck up. I waited so long for this day to arrive. I'm finally going to marry my love. Thank you for waiting for me, Robert. After you moved away seven years ago. Wow, it seems like ages ago. I miss you so much. I long to see you again. You know what? I wish you would have talked to me before you decided to marry that little tramp. I mean, we've known each other since grade school. We have so much history together. That's the least you could have done. If I had only known sooner, I would have ended that relationship before it even got started. I would have made sure she never got close to you. But I was glad I was able to get the news on time. I hopped on the train and rushed over there. I saved you in the nick of time. So it was you that pushed Kaden into the pool? You do know she was injured, right? She sprained her ankle. Robert, my love. I knew you wouldn't forget about me. I knew you would recognize me. Excuse me? Forget you? You've been texting Kaden all day. You've been harassing her and threatening her. Yeah, but it really hit home. She'll back off after that. She'll realize that you're mine and only mine. Hey, Robert. Where are you right now? I must admit that the whole thing got way out of proportion. People think I'm some sort of crazed stalker or something. So I'm lying low for now. I don't want to get caught by the cops. Robert, could you do me a favor? Could you come pick me up and then explain to everyone that it was one big misunderstanding? Oh, you're saying this was all just one big misunderstanding? That's what you want me to tell everyone? That you didn't mean to push Kaden into the pool and ruin our wedding? Yeah. I only did this to save you from a loveless marriage. I did you and your family a huge favor. Don't you get it? You can explain that way to everyone. You know, just tell everyone that it was me that you wanted to marry all along. That you were in love with me all this time. That you only proposed to Caden because you felt sorry for her. I'm sure everyone will go for it. I mean, why wouldn't they? They all know me. Elisa, we haven't seen or even talked to each other for the past seven years, right? So where did all this come from? This whole thing about us getting married? This is the first I've heard about this. You never told me you had feelings for me. Because I received a message from you. That's why a hidden message that only I could understand. A hidden message? What are you talking about? Well, first off... The date of the wedding. I know you're aware that it's my birthday this month, so I know you arranged the day of the wedding with my birthday. I'm so grateful that you remembered. That was such a sweet gesture. And another thing that I confirmed is that you arranged a buffet-style reception by the pool? What we always talked about. What we always dreamed of. I knew right away that you were sending a message. I went to a friend's wedding about two years ago, and they have the same sort of setup by the pool. And I've been obsessed about having a wedding by the pool ever since. I thought it was so romantic and beautiful. And what do you know? You remembered and made my dream come true. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Robert. You're the best. Yeah, right. Actually, I could think of better ways to convey a message, to be honest. Like, you know, talking to you directly. Or sending you an actual message. Not some vague and random coincidence. I bet you knew right away that I would notice. I bet you knew that I would get the hint. So, where are you now? I knew you would come around. I knew you would realize that we belong together. You're coming to pick me up, right? Then we can go and get married. I'm checked in at the Berkeley Hotel downtown. 
You know, the one near the airport. Apparently, there was a sudden cancellation for one of their suites. They gave it to me for the price of a single room. It was such a lucky break. After our marriage later today, we can stay overnight in this beautiful suite room. This is going to be great. We're gonna have so much fun. Okay, could you wait for me at the park nearby? Jefferson Park is right across the street, right? Excuse me? The park? Why the park? Yeah, it's just across the street. It's a nice place to meet. Oh, yeah. I see it from my window. Nice little pond in the middle with some ducks. Uh, and there's a little gazebo where people can sit and relax. Yeah, right. Wait there. I have a really big surprise for you. A surprise? Seriously? Oh, I'm so happy. I love surprises. Okay, I'm headed out the door right now. Don't be late, Robert. I can't wait to see you! <laughs> Kaden, pick up! I know you're there! This is all you're doing. I know it. Where did you take my Robert? He was supposed to pick me up at the park, and we were supposed to have our wedding. So why are the police here? Did you call them now? Why would you contact me instead of Robert? You really are screwed in the head. How dare you? Are you calling me crazy? A little thief like you is calling me crazy? I heard you ran into the women's bathroom by the park entrance. <laughs> I'm not coming out of here until Robert comes to pick me up. Hey, Elisa, wake up. I mean, you're about to graduate from college, right? Excuse me? You have enough credits. You finished your thesis. Your application to a major corporation has been accepted. You have a bright future ahead of you. Do you really want to throw it all away? Huh? Why? Do you even know any of that? Oh, I get it. All you're interested in is becoming a housewife, is that right? Well, just my luck, because Robert's grandma says he prefers independent, career-oriented women like me. He has no interest in having a boring housewife. That's why I went to college, because I didn't want to be like you. A lame, stay-at-home wife. I figured I'd become a businesswoman and become Robert's respected wife. Oh, really? Well, then this is going to be even more disappointing for you. What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say? Okay, your application to our company has been terminated. Pardon me? Maybe we need to reassess our recruitment program, but I'm glad we caught your application in time. I don't know what would have happened if we had hired you. Huh? What are you even talking about? You have no right digging into my affairs. Hello, Elisa. Robert. Finally. Hey, what's going on here? The police are out here. They're trying to arrest me for some reason. I have no idea what's going on. Please help me out here. It was me who called the police. Excuse me? I told you, there was a surprise waiting for you. What? The police were your surprise? You completely ruined my wedding today. So how could I not call the police? But calling the police is the only start. Oh, wait. Pardon me? Ruined your wedding? I rescued you. We are gonna have our wedding today, right? You're coming to pick me up, right? I'm not going to marry you. Are you nuts? <laughs> Wait a second. What? There's a lot I want to say, but this I will say right now. My wife is Caden, and Caden alone. You have no place in my life. Excuse me? <laughs> no way. Did you hit your head or something? You got this all wrong. She's not your wife. I got your message, Robert. You were calling out to me, right? 
It's okay. You can be honest, Robert. You love me, right? You're talking about the poolside buffet and your birthday at that crap, right? That's right. Well, that was just a coincidence. I had no idea it was your birthday. How am I supposed to know that? Hold on a sec. What? We just decided on that date because of our work schedule. Now is the only day we're both available. The poolside reception? That was Caden's idea. I had nothing to do with it. It was as if I was making your dreams come true or anything. Really? Also, you don't have any inkling about the damage you caused, do you? What are you talking about? Caden just told you they turned your application to the company. They were going to hire you. Yeah. What was that about? What does this have to do with my getting hired? Did you tell her about the company I applied to or something? Yeah, it's true that I got a letter from Brown Technologies that I'll be hired after I graduate, starting in September. Anyways, what does she have to do with any of this? Don't you even know the name of the CEO who runs Brown Technologies? Um, excuse me, the CEO of Brown Technologies? She had her season check with HR regarding their new hires and found you on the list. Um, wait a second. Say again? Well, here's what happened. The company went and hired you, and as a token of your appreciation, you pushed her into a pool and injured the CEO of the very company that hired you, and then ruined the whole wedding. Go figure. Are you for real? <laughs> That little thief is the CEO of Brown Technologies. No way! You still can't believe it? But how could she be? It doesn't make sense. We were supposed to get married. I've waited seven years for this. I loved you all these years, and I'm sure you have too, right? Sorry to break your bubble, Elisa. I have never loved you. I hardly even know you. How could you say that? Don't you remember that incident seven years ago on the day you moved away? What are you even talking about? The letter? The letter I left in your mailbox. I wrote that we could get married once we grew up. A letter? I also wrote that if you weren't interested that I wanted you to write back and tell it to me straight but you never replied. That's why I've been waiting for the past seven years. Hold on one second, Elisa. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never gotten any letter. Pardon me. That can't be right. That day is as clear as day. It was the 2nd of September. Sunday morning. It was raining outside. I wrote my feelings towards you. I laid it all out for you to see and left it in your mailbox. Don't tell me you didn't get it. Sorry, never saw it. You're kidding, right? But I do remember that rainy day, the day we're supposed to move out. The weather forecast said it was going to be worse, so we decided to move out on Saturday. The day before. Excuse me, you guys left on Saturday? Nobody told me that. Yeah, my mom contacted all of her friends. I remember a bunch of people calling me over to see us off. Really? Yeah, my mom says she went over to your house where you were too busy watching your favorite variety program and wouldn't come out to say goodbye. No way. That can't be right. I don't remember any of that. You're making it up. Well, it's the truth. There's nothing you can do about it. As for Kaden and I, we already got married six months ago. Today was just a reception. Are you serious? Yes, and just come out of the bathroom, would you? Let's end this whole charade. I really don't have time for this. But what about me? What am I supposed to do now? Just come out. The longer you stay there, the more trouble you're going to reap all yourself. Just come out, Elisa. It's over. But... Hey, Caden, are you holding up? 
How are you feeling today? I'm doing okay, just recuperating at the hospital. They're taking good care of me. Actually, I'm getting a bit bored. There's not much to do here. My assistant has worked things out at the office, so no problems there. He's handling everything smoothly, but I should be getting back pretty soon. After all, I am the CEO. I have a lot of responsibilities. And Elisa gave herself up too, so no more worries about her. She's not going to bother you anymore. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Guess she brought it on herself. She made a bad choice. I heard she was going to be suspended from college for what she did. A shame, really. She had a bright future ahead of her. I see. I guess there was no other option. She had to face the consequences of her actions. Oh, yeah. My grandmother contacted me yesterday saying she was sorry for all the trouble. You know, giving Elisa our line IDs and all. She didn't know what she was doing. Really? What's that about? How did that happen? I didn't know why either, but apparently, Grandma kept in touch with Elisa after we moved out seven years ago. She thought she was a nice girl. As a result, she was able to get her line info. I guess Elisa kind of talked her into giving her our line contacts. She lied to her and said she wanted to congratulate us on our wedding. She was on the verge of tears. She couldn't stop apologizing. She felt so guilty. Really? So that's how she was able to contact us. That's how she got our line IDs. Grandma says she wants to apologize to you directly. So could we all meet up in the near future? Maybe have lunch together or something. Yeah, no problem. I'll contact her too and assure her it was not a problem. I don't blame her. She was tricked by Elisa. Yeah, good idea. Thanks. I'll stop off at the hospital after work. See you then. And we have to talk about arranging another wedding reception soon. We can't let this ruin our plans. Okay, sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll have a wonderful wedding. Is there something you need? I could pick something up on the way there. Maybe some flowers or chocolates or something? Well, maybe you could pick me up a book of crosswords. You know how much I love those. No problem. The latest one, right? The one you were talking about the other day? The one with the challenging puzzles? Yeah, that's the one. Can't wait to get started on it. It'll keep me busy and entertained. Alright, then back to work. I have a lot to do before I can leave. See you later, Robert, and thanks. You're the best. As for Elisa, she was cooped up in that restroom at the park for several hours. It got so out of hand that the police cordoned off the whole park. She eventually tried to escape through the back window and ran into the woods nearby. But the police caught up with her in no time. She was charged with battery. Not only did she injure me, but also knocked over one of the staff members at the reception. She now apparently has a criminal record. Elisa isn't currently in her best of circumstances when it comes to family support either. Her parents are divorced and living apart. Her brother is currently living and working overseas and her grandparents as well. They moved into a senior citizen's home long ago. On top of not having any family support, she has the added burden of paying for damages and compensation for the victims like me. I also heard she had previous debts that she was obligated to pay. Her future really does not look very bright with a criminal record and all that debt hanging over her head.